Hi everyone. everyone, we're the Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne, and we're about to enter one of the coolest spots in downtown Oakville for the foodie in you. And for the foodie to be, too. We are at 151 Social, located on Lakeshore Road, and this place is known. Get ready, everybody, prepare your palates for the most innovative, creative, and absolutely delicious dishes you could ever imagine. They knock it out of the ballpark every single time. And he's one of the owners. You guys are going to love him. Well, I'm going to bring my new friend with me, too. Welcome to 151 Social. So what we wanted to do here is something non-traditional in terms of having a physical menu. Uh, we do a chalkboard menu, we rotate it each and every week. Um, we feature always a wild game each week. Our first week was rabbit week, this week was uh, wild boar week, upcoming weeks will be lobster week, and then so on. We're actually going to enjoy a little bit of wild boar for dinner here this evening. So, guys, what would you suggest that we order? What, what's on the menu here? Definitely have to try the appetizer, which is our wild boar bacon. How do you cook that, Kevin? Uh, so that uh, we we braise it for a good uh, two or three hours, um, let it cool, um, and then to to uh, to order, we give it a nice sear on the bacon and finish it with the bacon juice. Now I have a question: How is that bacon different than pig bacon? Good question. Well, it's it's a little it's a little bit gamier. Um, it's it's more of like it has a very similar flavor to like a, a, a smoked bacon or a double smoked bacon. Oh, I see. Okay. So it, it, and it's it's just a li little bit gamier and, and has that smoky flavor and uh, it's fantastic. It, it, it's it's delicious. I recommend that. It's now, did you know? that although the pig and the wild boar are relatives, they don't taste the same at all. The wild boar has a nutty flavor, and there's a cross between the pig and beef. Make sure you try it, you'll love it. Very good, and actually, speaking of trendy, I was gonna ask you, like, is wild game kind of trending more these days? Is there, are you seeing an increased interest in that? Absolutely, I mean, lamb it was, has always been a big thing, but you're seeing more things like horse coming back onto the menu. Wow. Yeah. Uh, wild boar, um, I don't know, other things like venison, uh, bison, stuff like that. It's all coming, rabbit even, you know? Wow. It's all coming back because people are foodies now, right? Yes. So they want to try different different things. Yeah. Borchetta. It's our version of a porchetta okay. made with wild boar. What's it come with? Mashed potatoes? Yes, mashed potatoes, glazed carrots, and our uh, wild boar demi mix. Okay, and a question. I'm, you've got about seven or eight items here on the list for Wild Boar Week. How do you come up with these creative ideas? Because every week you're doing something different. Yeah. Well, usually on a Saturday night, we'll sit down. The glass of wine? Water. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm drinking the wine. I'll drink the wine. Water. <laughs> okay, no uh, worries. We just come up with some ideas. So just brainstorm. Usually Kevin's the creative. Uh, this behind the menu, but he'll ask, uh, what you guys, he'll ask our, me and my partners, what would you guys, what do you guys have in mind? We'll give him some ideas yeah. and he'll come up with the menu. Okay, well I'm looking forward to trying it. I haven't had anything to eat today, so I'm sure gonna enjoy that. Um, so you got the gremolata crackling, you got the mashed potatoes with the wild boar demi, and underneath all of that are our glazed carrots. Bon appetit. Oh, gracias, señor. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded Spanish oh, well. or Mexican. <laughs> Got to work on your Italian it's accent. A blend. It's a blend. Okay. Bon appetito. Wow. So I'm getting, I'm getting the inside a little bit too, Susan. Mm. How is it? Wow. Did you die for it? 
that is awesome. Isn't that good? You do taste the nuttiness. Oh, that's fabulous. You know what I love about wild boar too? It's like lean and mean. Oh, it's not mean. But it's lean. <laughs> and it's really healthy for you. It's got a lot of niacin and all kinds of things. Wow. wow. Yummy. Thanks, for Anthony. Did you know the wild boar is low in fat and high in protein? Way more than the all-American beef. It's also huge in flavor. Plus, it's a real hit with the health conscious, with tons of amazing nutrients. So make wild boar a part of your regular diet. I don't know, Georgia. We're not used to being in the world like this. What is up with this guy? He hasn't batted an eyelash in the last hour and a half. Seriously? Yeah, I guess he's a bit of a stiff. Don't you know? They're the wine ladies. He's the god of wine. Seriously? What the heck? It looks like he's been here for thousands of years anyway. Buddy, get a life. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>